nearly two years, but we finally got a Kurt Busch Gold Series release. Here's Kurt Busch's 2020 Gear Wrench Chevrolet Camaro. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again, back with another 2020 Gold Series review. It is Kurt Busch's, yeah, the first Gold Series Kurt Busch car since 2018, and the first one with him being with Chip Ganassi Racing. Now, we've already seen with the Kyle Larson review of the Chip Ganassi box, and I hope we get some Matt Kenseth diecasts in later this year. I really hope so, but uh, this paint scheme is... I tell you why, if you compare it to the 2019, this one is a night and day difference. It's almost like it's an entirely different brand. I mean, if you go to the 2019 version, it's very bland, it's very mellow. This one's a sharp, aggressive, got a fade pattern. Absolutely fantastic looking paint scheme, and I can't wait to get it out of the box. Uh, quick look around it, just got that silver uh, little stripe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this 2020 Kurt Busch Gear Inch Chevrolet Camaro out of the package. Alrighty folks, here she is, brand new, out of the package, a very sharp looking Camaro, and I could see just right off the bat, that beautiful like satin matte looking finish on this car. I tell you what, if you're a Chip Ganassi fan, this is going to be a race car that you want in your collection, not only to pair with your Matt Kenseth diecast, but I'm telling you, man, it has been a over a full year, almost, what, two years since we've had a Gold Series release for this man, Kurt Busch. I've got to think about it. There was only one, just one 164 release for Kurt Busch in 2019, and it was that DMP Gold Series gear wrench car. And I'll be honest with you, it doesn't even look that good and they still produced it. So uh, definitely, uh, I, gotta, I gotta thank Chip Ganassi Racing, and I gotta thank Lino Racing as well for getting this car produced. So over here to the nose of this race car, you got, well, you got the gear wrench logo, very sharp, uh, very aggressive. You know, I've never used any gear wrench tools or anything before. I don't really know much about them, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've honestly never heard of them. I've heard a good wrench, you know, with the Dale Senior and Kevin Harvick days. Um, but, you know, I think OBB said they're actually really good tools, so that's quite interesting. I don't know if it's a new brand, because I never heard of it growing up. Maybe it was a different brand, and they changed it to Gear Wrench. I have no clue. Uh, if you have any inform information on that, let me know. Uh, we do have a little bit of a slip-up, though, with the clear coat. You can see that underneath. That is a very shiny-looking decal or something there. Uh, and then you can see how the satin's right here where my thumb is. You know, shark tooth just sticking out there. Go over to the front of the car, the Camaro headlights are decently wrapped, honestly. The little bow tie is a little bit scrunched up, it's like a sham wow. Uh, got the number one there, you got a uh, K&N 3M, got Lincoln Welders and Sunoco as well. The splitter is painted black, and the front of this car, I, I, I can't I can't stress this enough, it looks like a freaking Zupal plate with all the colors. I, 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 I'm not too much of a fan of all these different colors like this because it's wrapping around the, the, the grill pieces and it's just it just kind of looks all over it. But then again, I don't know. Maybe, maybe like I like this part here. I'm not so much of a fan seeing this little white part here. It kind of reminds me on the Camrys how part of the splitter is like painted silver for whatever reason. Uh, of course, got the Chip Ganassi Racing logo there and your Camaro Z01 badge. And then over here to the left side of this Chevrolet Camaro, you got the gear wrench logo there. I like how uh, half of it, you know, is uh, the white and half of it's kind of like that nice burnt orange. Very modern orange, honestly. And I like these little aggressive uh, modern lines, how you kind of have two panels down here and you have some more panels here but if you really think about it this way the way the transition works here how it's like very pixelated right and just white and black graphics i don't know about you but i just get a comic book feel honestly it just reminds me kind of a comic book how the, some of the backgrounds of the comics have that little pixelated look and you have the uh the white lines uh, you have the black lines around like the, the characters and the buildings and whatnot i just think it looks like a comic book to be honest with you which is quite interesting of course over here you got the Kurt Busch signature, which is extremely hard to read. I'm not too much of a fan of that. Um, I do miss the days when it said Outlaw there. I thought that was really cool. Uh, of course, got the Goodyear uh, logo over here. I'm not liking this. You can barely read it. I don't know why they couldn't just make it white, make it black. That could make it any other color. No, they tried to do like a, a, a lighter shade of orange or more yellow orange. And then you just have kind of like that burnt modern gear wrench orange. I, I just, I don't know. Two shades of the same color are good for, like, shadowing 
and three-dimensional effects when you're trying to display a brand image i i'm just i i, I don't know uh, so of course you got simians here i think that's uh, i don't know what the heck that is there but i, I see sherwin williams and something else there got your kurt bush number one i still wish they would bring back the dei style number one or at least make a different version of it when it's slanted and of course you have the american ethanol ring right over here on the right side and over here on the b post got gear wrench i think that's freightliner credit one bank clover and mcdonald's so unfortunately the back end of this chevrolet well i'll say what it's a little bit wonky jaw so you got the badges you got the camaro nameplate there all that's pretty much sideways good thing there's not a stripe uh, that goes across the back end because that thing would be wonky jaw too so you got the uh, the left tail light's a little bit higher than the right uh right tail light you got the uh the gear wrench logo i mean pretty much the whole piece back here literally is just sideways which, which is unfortunate but just like the 2020 hooters chase sale which we reviewed that yesterday so you can check that out link in description uh, but I, just the whole back end of this car with that spoiler beautiful satin slash matte. it's not a true matte because it has some sort of gloss to it but they have to because it's a product they got to keep it protected so they have to put some sort of clear coat on it so that's why i say satin look to it it's not a true matte it's a satin because they they put some clear coat on it to protect it if not this thing would literally chip off like it would be you could scratch it off it'd be that easy and then over here to the right side of this car and this just bugs the daylights out of me so we already mentioned how the uh the little signature on this side well you could barely even read it like i i can't read cursive okay that and it's just so itty bitty it looks like a looks like a like a like a smudge right you go over here, the name, for whatever reason, is all the way over here near the B post, and then the B post decal, it's not even centered right, it's a little bit further back, a little bit too low, so you got the name right here, and then on this side, it's all the way back here. I'm not too big of a fan of that, at least they got the one decently in the right spot but as far as the graphics for the actual paint ski i really like that i do think the front could be a little bit better I, I just i'm not a fan of the little white lip right there i just think it looks out of place right but this really looks good it flows well the transition orange you know it flows well of course right here is supposed to be the monster energy logo i'm gonna be ordering some monster energy decals i'll be able to put it on the car i probably won't do a review on that i might make a small update video or something but you know i wanted to go ahead and get this review out for y'all because y'all are freaking awesome you know of course you know hit that thumbs up if you like this die cast i'd I greatly appreciate it but yeah i plan on putting the correct monster energy logos on this race car and then over here to the roof of this die cast you got the number one right there i mean i like how they put the little orange you know outline outline on it i mean i'm not a fan of the bold font that's just me but if 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 you're gonna have it you gotta do it right they did the outline on it i like that of course you got your front windshield banner which was not present on that kyle larson car so um if you want to get that uh, to match you might have to swap those out and of course you got gear wrench right over here on the roof laps with the kurt bush nameplate on the back window and unfortunately the back uh deck lid does not have any sponsors on it so if you want to you know add some uh, some logos to it i would i would highly recommend putting a mosh energy logo there i think that would look very nice Alrighty, folks tell me what y'all think about this diecast be honest guys y'all like this diecast or not i actually do I, th I like i said i think the front could be a little bit better right but the sides i think look fabulous man and this little you know this open spot right here would be covered up with the monster claw so oh no i really like this paint scheme i hope y'all enjoyed the video also this car is going to be running for the nascar toro last cup series yeah this car is going to be in the freaking toro last cup series this thing could win the daytona 500 which is going to be august 2nd on diecast buffet of course the daytona duels are going to be july 30th thursday night so you can uh, tune in for uh two diecast duel races to set the field for sunday's august 2nd daytona 500 i tell you what it's gonna be exciting unscripted die cast racing we're gonna we're gonna have go or go home race cars it's gonna be incredible folks i hope y'all tune in what a fabulous looking race car i mean besides the front i mean honestly this is a fabulous looking race car i'm just glad they made this thing guys because like i said last year we didn't get a single kurt bush gold series car i mean we went through what 10 waves nine or 10 waves without knowing we're gonna get a kurt bush car and they finally said okay we're gonna put a kurt bush car in <laughs> took them long enough anyways folks thank you all so much for watching the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up helps out the channel tremendously 
Appreciate all those who tune in and subscribe. I mean, we're getting closer and closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. Holy cow, folks. Hope you have an amazing day out there. I just want to let y'all know that I absolutely love y'all. Diecast Buffet, signing off.